All right, so I know times are hard for people right now, and I understand that maybe you can't afford to hang with the big boys, and you can't afford things like fancy coffee, cure eggs, super special headsets for your PlayStation or Xbox, whatever it is you use. So I'm going to teach you how to hang with the big boys without being able to afford it. I'm going to teach you how to live life on a budget. Today's lesson is for those of you who want a flashlight but don't have the $49.99 or whatever it is it costs to make one or to buy one. So I'm going to teach you how to make one at home for under $6. Bless if you find it on sale. So first you're going to need a block of Velveeta cheese. I know what you're thinking, how is that going to be the same? Well, hang with me here a minute. Second, you're going to need a knife. Let's begin. So, some pretty straightforward stuff here. Take it out of the package. Oh, Velveeta does not make it easy to get the package open. Okay. So now that we have it out of the wrapper, here's step two. Take your knife, and you're going to make a slit right about here. How big a knife you want to use all depends on your girth, but I'm guessing that if you can't find a woman and you're, well, and you're stuck with a block of Velveeta cheese, probably not a lot of girth here. So we're just going to do about that much of the knife. Make yourself an opening, and you're good to go. So, that's how you do this. Now, if you give me just a couple minutes, I'll show you part two. So, now that we're done with step one, we move on to step two. You have two choices here. You can either A, find yourself a small round container, put this in the microwave for about 15 minutes, turn it into liquid, let it reconstitute inside the container, or my favorite option, here's a quick and easy recipe. One can of diced tomatoes, I'm using Rotel, and your cheese. So you take the Rotel, in this case, dump it into a microwave safe container. <laughs> and you're going to need to dice up the remaining cheese into cubes, oh, about an inch by an inch. Okay, so now we're going to take the cheese, after it's been broken up and cut up small enough, and we're just going to stick it in the bowl with the diced tomatoes. Okay, so now we're going to take all of our stuff, put it in the microwave for, ooh, let's do five minutes. That's going to liquefy the cheese. You'll stir it in with the tomatoes, and you'll have yourself a tasty dip. Might be a little salty at first, but uh, yeah, good nonetheless. 